Hey, you are using server flow rain and you are about to switch over to low flow anesthesia. You know how much low flow is authenticated by the international societies, how much low flows you can use when you are using server flow rain as your volatile agents. Is there any recent updates or position statement on that? Let's check it out. Welcome once again to Anesthesia Tools. I am Dr. Sanish. Let's discuss how much low gas flows can be used with server flow rain. Here we have a complete and authentic explanation for the use of low gas flows for server flow rain by American Society of Anesthesiologists published in 2023. First, let us check why there were concerns against use of low fresh gas flows with server flow rain. The manufacturer label for server flow rain cites studies in animal models that showed evidence of renal toxicity due to exposure to compound A that is fluoromethyl 2,2-difluoro 1-trifluoromethyl vinyl ether as a degradant formed by the reaction of severforane with strong bases like sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide in some CO2 absorbents. It is to be mentioned that the FDA recommendation against the use of volatile anesthetic severforane with fresh gas flows less than 2 liter per minute site studies performed in animal models. The animal study findings have not been replicated in humans, however. Some CO2 absorbents currently on the market were designed to have a limited concentration of strong base, less than 2% of sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide, or eliminate sodium or potassium hydroxide entirely, reducing compound A production to negligible amounts even when using low fresh gas flows. However, extensive research has found no evidence of harm in humans due to severforane use with low fresh gas flows. Here is uh, Anesthesiology 1997 article published on the effects of low flow severforane anesthesia on renal function showing no significant effects of compound A formation on renal function even in low flow severflurane administration. Another study published in 1997 anesthesiology journal using more sensitive biomarkers, biochemical markers of renal tubular cell necrosis found to be similar to isoflurane group. There are many research articles supporting the severflurane use with low fresh gas flows. Here are some of them for your reference. Notably, countries of European Union never introduced minimal fresh gas flow restrictions and routinely used low fresh gas flow in practice. Furthermore, purposeful selection of CO2 absorbent can eliminate any remaining safety concerns surrounding low flow severflow rate. The anesthesia professional should determine the optimal low flow rate to avoid unnecessary waste, cost and pollution by ensuring safe and effective care for the patient. Most adult patients under anesthesia can be managed with fresh gas flow as low as 0.5 liters per minute without adding significant burden to the anesthesia professional. With vigilance, flows can often be decreased further to approach closed circuit conditions where the anesthetic and the fresh gas supplied equal the amounts consumed by the patient. The American Society of Anesthesiologists clearly states that it is important to understand the tools and concepts underlying low flow server flow rain for safe and effective administration. Keep watching Anesthesia Tools for similar authentic academic contents. Your feedback and comments are most welcome. It's me, Dr. Sanish, signing off until we meet again with another video in Anesthesia Tools. Goodbye.